Hi, my name is Jonathan Rotz, and today I want to take a little time to show you how farmers grow crops like these and others so that you and I have food. So let's take a look. Early in the spring, farmers prepare their fields and then plant crops to grow through the summer, and they'll harvest them in the fall. And it all starts with a seed. Farmers load planters with seed that they have selected and purchased over the previous fall and winter months. They select different seeds based on the environment they expect to grow the crop on and even what their final use will be. Then in the spring, they take time to make sure the right seeds go to the right farms and fields and that they feed each of those crops the nutrients they need to grow correctly. In order to plant all of these acres, farmers use large planters. This planter uses vacuum to take the seed and deliver it to row units that will place seeds individually in the soil at specified depths set by the farmer. Even the depth that the seed is placed in the soil is important for the health of the plant later in the season and the yield it will bring. Here you can see the planter working in the soil, planting seeds into the ground so that they can grow. This planter opens the soil, places the seed in a small slice called a furrow, then closes the soil making sure the seed has everything it needs to germinate. Some planters even put plant food down right where the seed is and or around the seed to help it grow. Once the planter has passed, we can find a seed to see that just one seed is planted at a time. Farmers and others, like myself, will dig seeds like this to make sure the planter is adjusted correctly for the field conditions and the crop that is being planted. As the seeds start to grow, you soon see small seedlings emerge. At this point, the plant is building roots to feed itself, but it is also still getting a lot of nutrition from the seed. Throughout the year, these crops continue to grow, from seedlings to small plants to mature plants. When a plant reaches maturity, it will produce grain. During this period, called the growing season, the plant starts to need a lot of resources, such as plant food, water, and sunlight. Plants take sunlight and convert it into sugar in a process called photosynthesis. These sugars help to build the plant and then will also later be converted into grain that can be harvested by the farmer and used by them or sold to be used by others. So I wanna take a little bit of time here and talk a little bit about how much time and money and care goes into a crop from a farmer. So as you guys drive around, you probably see lots of crops all over the place. There's acres and acres of crops. So an acre is 43,560 feet. That would be an area 209 feet long by 209 feet wide. That's one acre. But in one acre, a farmer will have between 30 to 40,000 of these corn plants. Soybeans and weed and things like that are planted at little different rates. But in order to get all of these things to grow right, a farmer plans long and hard on what needs to happen. Not only picking the right, the right seed for that acre, but also figuring out what kind of nutrition needs to go in that acre. Now, you guys are probably all familiar with this, right? So anytime you see uh, a uh, you know snack or something, it has these nutrition labels on the side of it. And that's so that you can figure out what kind of nutrition you're actually eating and maybe even plan, you know, how many calories do I need or, or you know, protein and things. And that's probably more than what you really, really get into. But, but it's so that you can have a balanced diet. Now, farmers actually do the same thing with their crops. Early in the spring, farmers will go through and they'll actually take soil samples. They'll get soil from different parts of the field and they'll, they'll get and figure out what kind of nutrition that soil has for the upcoming plant. In fact, what they do is they get a report that looks like this. And it tells them, you know, for this specific uh, field or whatever else, what is that soil? What, what nutrients does that have in for this coming crop? Later in the year, the grower may even go and actually take leaves off of this plant and figure out what's that plant currently eating with what's called a tissue test. 
All of this is the same general idea as looking at that nutrition label that you guys may look at to figure out, is this a balanced meal? The farmer will try to feed these 30 to 40,000 plants per acre and give them all the nutrition they need in order to grow and then also to create the crop that they're looking for, in this case, corn grain. So farmers think long and hard before. In fact, in the fall, they start even in the summer sometimes, they start planning for the year ahead, thinking what crop they're gonna grow, what kind of fertilizer they have to put on. The other thing they try to do is they try to look and watch for any pests because if anything else is utilizing those nutrients that that plant could be using, we're not gonna get as good a yield. So whether it's bugs, whether it's weeds, whether it's you know diseases, the farmers will really pay attention to these plants and try to figure out what they can do to make these as healthy as possible and care for them as well as possible. Farmers plant lots of different crops over lots of acres. They work hard to make sure these plants have nutrition to grow as well as keeping weeds and other pests from damaging the crops. To do this, farmers and individuals helping them will scout fields trying to identify issues such as weeds, insects, or even diseases and decide what needs to be done to help the crop. As a crop reaches maturity or gets very close, it's time for harvest. Farmers harvest crops in different ways. One such way is called silage. Here farmers are harvesting alfalfa as whole plants for silage. Farmers harvest plants for silage such as alfalfa, corn, and some small grains. Silage can be stored for a long period of time and provides nutrition to animals throughout the entire year. Here a farmer is mixing a batch of feed, including a lot of silage to be fed to dairy cows. Much of this feed is grown on their farm and includes corn silage, alfalfa hay, and other grains. They mix these feeds together carefully to give the necessary nutrition to these cows. These cows will use this food to produce milk that can be eventually turned into dairy products for us like milk, cheese, yogurt, or maybe even ice cream. Even ice cream starts with a seed. Other farmers harvest crops for grain. Here a combine is harvesting corn grain. Other common crops in our area that are taken for grain are soybeans and wheat. This grain will be hauled from the field in big trucks and taken to a storage facility. Once unloaded, the grain will be dried to a moisture that it can be stored at and carefully stored until it is needed. Grain is stored in large bins like these where the moisture can be controlled and pests are kept away. Once the farmer is ready to sell the grain or use it, they will take it out of these bins and either haul it to a location that processes the grain into food, such as bread or corn chips, or maybe feed it on the farm to their animals. Here are some chickens enjoying some grain that they will turn into eggs for us to eat. Grain is also used for beef, chicken, pork products, or even turkey. Well, that was fun. I hope you guys learned something today and I hope whenever you see farmers moving machinery or see them in the field or whatever else, now you have a little better idea of what they're doing, why they're doing it, and how it helps us to have food to eat. Thanks for your time and attention. Remember, it all starts with that little seed. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.